Hello, and welcome to this new video about the Joplin app. Today, we're going to talk about a plugin that's become quite popular in the community and one we've received many questions about. We're talking about the Jarvis plugin, which brings artificial intelligence features directly into your Joplin notes. Jarvis lets you generate text, summarize content, annotate notes, and even run intelligent searches all from within the app. In other words, it adds AI-powered features to your note-taking workflow. In this video, we'll show you how to use Jarvis with a completely open-source AI model using an application that works both online and offline. For this example, we'll be using an app called JAN. You'll find the download link in the video description. As Jan works locally, make sure you have a computer that is powerful enough for this solution, otherwise processing times may be long. Once you've installed Jan, simply choose an AI model from the list of available options. After downloading the model, go to Settings, then Local API Server. Create an API key, save it, and start your local server. Now let's move over to Joplin. Make sure you've already installed the Jarvis plugin. If you haven't, don't worry, we've included a link to our video on how to install plugins in the description. With Jarvis installed, open the Jarvis Chat tab. Here, you'll need to configure it to work with JAN. Start by pasting the API key you generated earlier into the Open AI API key field. Then, in the Chat Model dropdown, choose Open AI Compatible Custom Model. Scroll down and click on Show Admin Settings. Under Chat Timeout, enter the value 600. In OpenAI or Compatible Custom Model ID, enter the exact name of the model you selected in Jan. You can find this name in the Model Provider section of the Jan interface. For the Custom Model API endpoint, copy the URL provided in Jan's API settings. Once everything is filled in, click Apply to save your settings. And that's it. Jarvis is now ready to use. Back in a note, you can type a request or prompt and click the robot icon to get an instant response. For example, I can ask Jarvis to create a note about Joplin. I type the request, click the icon, and Jarvis generates the content for me straight away. You can also ask follow-up questions or dig deeper into the topic. Another great feature is the magnifying glass icon. It brings up related notes from your notebook based on the content of your current note. For instance, if your note talks about migrating from Evernote, Jarvis might suggest our previous notes on that very topic. You can click the light bulb icon to insert those related notes directly into your current one. And finally, if you want to rephrase or shorten a paragraph, whether it's something you wrote or something Jarvis generated, just select it and ask Jarvis to revise it. You can make it shorter, more formal, or just clearer. It's simple, efficient, and adds real power to your note-taking process. We hope this video helped you get started with the Jarvis plugin for Joplin. A big thank you to Alan Diamond and the Joplin community for their amazing work on this plugin. And as always, we'll see you soon in the next video.